think in Hanging Rock is a loss of innocence story and it's about growing up and finding the place where you belong, which I think is really relevant to us. These girls from this girls college go on a field trip to this big rock in the middle of Australia. These girls decide to go explore and some of them get lost and we see how this all plays out in the play. It's pretty interesting, pretty mysterious. We've both actually directed shows before with high school students, but this is a little bit different because even though it's small, there is that age disparity. We've mostly worked with kids our own age. It's really, really different because we're all so close in age, but it's also really fun because everyone is just as enthusiastic about being here and working as we are. It's the second ever 9-10 one act at Plano East, and we'll be the only senior high school competing for the one act show. You get to work with two different seniors as our directors. They understand us and our schedules. They really work with us, and it's been a great experience. My favorite part of the show was like our cast. They all get along really great. Big Naked Hanging Rock has a really cool sense of mystery that will keep you on the edge of the seat. There's also a diverse set of accents in the show, and it's really awesome how that plays to the general story. There's multiple storylines to the show, and different people will interpret it differently. Well, there's like two storylines. They all like intertwine with each other. We have a really cool set. You know, it's called Picnic and Hanging Rock, and our rock is made out of people. The rock is really interesting. It sort of interacts with the people that it takes in. It holds a certain significance for some characters. Some people belong at the rock, and some people don't. There's a lot of dynamic relationships between the characters. It's a story about moving on, but also how different people go through that, and how some people are ready and some people aren't. Fun. I would say it is mystical. I would say it's like mysterious and majestic. We got you guys. I said bodacious, I said stupendous, I said arousing, I said arousing. <laughs> unexpected. I always thought she was a stupid child, and now I know. It's so silly. If there was any sense in it, I could learn it ever so much better. Sense, you little ignoramus. Edith Horton. Let's, Let's see clip it. it.